Hi, I'm Matt from Tuppy Tarot. Welcome back to another 10 Talk Tuesday. Today I want to ask you whether journaling, tarot journaling, is worth your while. Or uh, am I just being silly by saying that I don't think it actually is? It's coming up right after this. <laughs> Hi, welcome back. Okay, I heard the screams in the background. Ah, you saying that I can't tarot journal and it's a waste of time. Basically, that's not what I'm saying, but I want you to hear me out, okay? Because I don't, I don't do tarot journaling. Um, I used to, long ago, until I actually got a job um, and a social life and a family and a house. And I suddenly realized, you know what? I don't have time for this. I am spending so much time on my little tarot journal that other parts of my life are actually struggling. They're, they're having time stolen from them so that I can put it into journaling. And what do I actually get out of the journaling? So I was looking online, um, specifically on Instagram, and there are people who have the most exquisite tarot journals. Beautiful. They are absolutely ins Instagrammable. Okay. I tend to Instagram cows and my food that I eat. <laughs> Says a lot about me. But some people are into Instagramming their tarot journals. And they are exquisite. And I, I contacted one or two of the people that I can, kind of know. And I said to them, look, your, your tarot journals are amazing. Um, your handwriting is superb. Your, your drawing skills are amazing. And they said, oh, no, that's not, don't be silly. That's just my, my show journal. What I do is I actually do all my journaling on, in rough, on, on like, a, in like a, a rough journal. And then I take that journal and I transfer it into my Instagrammable journal or my real journal. And I just thought to myself, my God, how much time do you have on your hands? Don't you work? Could you? I, I can't imagine the amount of time that must take. Now, let's say it is your hobby. That is what you do as a hobby. Me, for my hobby, I collect tarot cards and I collect books. A lot of people um, will say, wow, you spend a lot of money on that. You're spending a lot of time on that, collecting books, reading books. Like, yes, I do. Um, and so, yes, that might be your thing. You might say, well, you know what? I'm prepared to spend a lot of time and a lot of money and a lot of effort on my tarot journal. Um, which is all good and well. But what I want you to think about is... What else could you be doing with that time? Answer me this. When you are finished with a journal for the year, what do you do with it? You put it into your journal library or you put it into, so you might even just throw it in a drawer. How often do you go back and refer to that journal? How often do you go back three years and look at journals from three years ago and, and read them and, and remember things from there? Let's be honest. Be honest with yourself. Do you do this? If you say, yes, I do it, and you are quite willing to say to me, Matthew, I do this, man. I go through all my journals. They are an incredibly important, important part of my life. Fantastic. But I don't think that's the norm with all of us. I don't think that's the norm with 80% of us. Don't do that. So what could you do instead of journaling? Okay. You could join a, um, a, a charity organization. You could... Uh, you could take an online course, a lot of free courses, go and update your CV a bit, you know, um, or just do something that is going to expand your mind. Tarot journaling is not expanding your mind, okay? You're not learning anything new. You're not learning anything new by doing, keeping a tarot journal. You're just basically writing down stuff that you're never really going to look at again, okay? And I know this is an unpopular opinion. And I know that there are many of you who are saying, Matthew, you're talking rubbish and who are probably going to get very hot under the collar. But I think it's an important thing to talk about. Let's, let's talk about this, about the time in your life, about the time that you are spending with doing something that is, that is really going to be put in a drawer and left, you know. Um, and then I, I just think to myself, like, I have a house to keep up. I've got to go and mow the lawn pick up the dog poop, okay? I have a, a, a real job that I go to. I don't do this for, for, for money. This is, not, this is my passion. Um, 
I don't, my, my YouTube channel is not monetized, so I don't get any money for this. It's just what I do, okay? I have a, a, an actual job in the real world. I've got to go out and I've got to, I run a small company. Um, and I have a social life. And I have a family um, that I have to spend time with. And at the end of the day, I just think to myself, wow, you know, you are really squeezing in a lot as it is. Now I've still got to find time to do journaling. And let me tell you something, it's not a quick writing down a couple of ideas. I see journals that are works of art, must have taken hours and hours to do, you know. And then there's this whole bullet journaling and this kind of journaling and that kind of journaling and you do mind maps and spider diagrams. I don't know where you people get the time to do this. And I don't understand why you are, not so much why you're doing it because there, there must be a reason but I don't understand the, the logic behind doing something that you're just going to throw in a drawer somewhere, you know, or put on a shelf. Um, I, don't, I don't quite get that. So seriously, if you can explain it to me, please do. Don't shout at me. Don't, just because my, my opinion is completely different to you, don't rant. Just try and explain to me how you feel and what you do um, as far as journaling goes. Um, I don't really have much more to say on this topic, so it's going to be a short video today. I just wanted to put this out there and the reason I'm putting this video out there is specifically to get your opinion of this. So please, I don't mind if you write me a long letter in the comments. Um, I'm genuinely interested to hear what you guys have to say. And if you want to tell me I'm talking BS, that's, that's cool, you know, just do it nicely. Don't tell me that I'm a bastard and you hate me and you're going to stop watching my channel. Just my opinion. Let me know what yours is because I really am interested. I'm Matt from Tubby Tarot and I will see you next Tuesday for another 10 talk. Bye.